Hello everyone and welcome back. This is just a small grocery haul. I'm just going to kind of skim through it while I'm standing here because I'm trying to keep my phone as steady as I can. So I picked up, I had a coupon to get, um, I think it was either 50 or 75 cents off of this. So I picked a pack of these up because the coupon expires tomorrow. Um, these were on sale. I forget how much they were. They're normally 58 cents, but anyway, they were on sale and I forget what the price was. I would have made them like 50 cents. So I got these half off, so it was like 25 cents. So I only picked up one because it was only for a coupon was only for one. So got me some lovely light. Picked up an avocado. This is a big one. They were three for five. I only needed one. Um, and I've been told that the long, if they got a longer neck, they have a better flavor. So we're gonna see. We'll see. Try to read somebody. Hopefully, I'll remember to tell y'all whether it's any better or not. Here's the band-aids that y'all saw me wearing in my last video. These are the clear. See how they, they have the flesh coat like a regular band-aid in the center? And there's three different sizes. I had this size, I think, or was it this size? It was this size on my lip, I believe. You couldn't tell except that the white, that, that the, the plastic part here that was stuck in my skin made my skin look oily, right? Pretty cool. I like that. Makes it less noticeable. Doesn't draw somebody's attention right to you. You know what I mean? So anyway, then I had a coupon. Somebody left a coupon in the cookie aisle for these particular cookies, not this flavor, but the brand. And it was 50 cents off. And the cookies were on sale for 350. So I got this big container for three dollars, which is not bad. Alright, then I had a coupon for this. These were $2.39, I believe. I've been just a little more than that. And uh, I got it for a dollar off, so made it a dollar and thirty-nine cents or whatever the price was. Because it was a dollar and something. So yeah, this I can stick in my little refrigerator. I have an apartment size refrigerator upstairs. Yes, because I'm upstairs a lot. And um, I can put water in there and cold drinks and and uh, some snacks. So when I'm up there messing around, because I have my bedroom up there too. So when I'm up there messing around, I don't have to worry about running downstairs all the time. When I'm down them stairs, it gets kind of tiring for somebody with a bad back and old too. <laughs> I had a coupon for this. This is my husband's favorite creamer in the world. I had a coupon for 75 cents off, I believe it was. And I don't remember how much it was. It was three something. So, yep, got that for him. Then I had a coupon to get 75 cents off of this. Um, I like the I like the patties really really well. I really love the patties. The sausage links. I don't recall trying these before, but if I have, I don't remember. I think I did try these with the maple flavor. Was it this brand or the other brand? Anyway, these are fantastic sausages, you guys, especially the patties. And they have the crumbs, sausage crumbs. And if you like to just throw it into an omelet or into scrambled eggs, boom, those are excellent. I love Johnsonville. And y'all remember I was talking about plant-based burgers and things like that. Well, here are two of them that I was talking about. Now I was talking about one where it had two in a package and actually what it is, it's in the meat section and it looks like fresh hamburger patties. And when you look at the packaging, it says plant-based. And when you look at that hamburger patty, it looks like it's really a beef hamburger patty, you know? But when I open the package, I see there was only two in there, and I'm thinking six bucks for the two? That's a lot of money, you know? So anyways, I kept looking around, and in the freezer section, I decided to try this. Now, this is a veggie one, but look at the ingredients in it. Roasted portobellas combined with arborea rice peas and truffle oil to create a mushroom masterpiece. Now I like mushrooms and this sounded very appealing to me. Soy free, six types of veggies, 130 calories. You get four burgers. Okay, here's the nutritional facts on the back. Which I'll read that real quick. And if you want to read the ingredients, there you go. I'm trying to keep my hands as still as possible. There we go, that's a little bit better. If, you, if I'm going too fast, you can just stop the video and just go back a little bit. So, yeah. And uh, it seems like it's pretty easy to cook. I mean, you know, you can stick an oven at 450, put it in the skillet, stick it in the microwave. So, yeah, we're going to give that a try. So, yeah, that looks interesting. These are $4.99, I think. 
Um, I believe they were the same price. I think both boxes were the same price. Now this is more of a plant-based protein, plant protein, gluten-free, all-American veggie burger. So I thought, well, why don't, we, why don't we try this one? This one's a little different. It's not, you know, this one has the mushroom in it. This one does not. Uh, so here's the ingredients. The sweet potato, butternut squash. It sounds like it's going to be tasty, so we'll give that a try. Here's your nutritional facts. Okay, like I said, if I'm going too fast, just stop the video and you can read. Read them from the screen. Like I said, these were $4.99, I believe, or $3.99, something like that. I thought it was a little expensive, and there's only two burgers in here, so. So we'll see how those two taste, because I mean, we really enjoy, my husband and I both enjoyed the. Uh, Burger King burger, the plant-based burger. Now, okay, you saw that I had um, this stand. I showed you this one in the other video. This one was $20. And I thought this would be good for my dash. I thought being a stable, I was like, when you're holding it walking like that, wouldn't it be stable? I guess not. Um, I'll have to one of these days invest if I ever get into a lot more videoing, I'll have to invest in one of those um, thingamajigs that keeps your camera steady while you're walking and stuff, but that's okay. I get what I can afford right now because I really don't do a whole lot of videoing. And then I got this other one, two-in-one selfie stick. It has a little tripod at the bottom. And what I liked about this is I could put it on a table and hopefully I can angle it down at me more if I'm trying to do a video by myself or something. So yeah. Looks like you can go can you lower all the way down? Yeah, I guess you can. It makes it look like that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Hell I didn't think about that. I didn't look at the back. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay in case one breaks. Because you know this one's got that thing on the top too where you spread it out. But as you see, nobody's, this one here shows it without a case on their phone. And I have to have mine in the case. I'm not going to let mine get broke. I don't want it to get broke. So I got those. Those are 20 bucks a piece. Splurged a little bit. This, thank goodness my dad doesn't uh, know I have a YouTube channel. Because this is for my dad for Father's Day. I also got him a mug. I wish I had, uh, I wish I could save and add to this video, but I don't know how to. You know, like just stop the video and then get home and start back up. But... Yeah, I don't know how to do all that without having to start over and make a new video. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is the uh, first version, I believe. This is the first one. They had it on sale for five bucks. Not bad. I don't know when it was made. Was this a 1990 movie? I don't know. I don't remember when this first came out. But he loves really scary movies, especially gory movies. He loves that. So I thought maybe he'd like this. This one is chapter number two chapter two so I do not know man it's glary in here it's just really glary sorry about that give you a little bit better idea so this is for his father's day I hope he enjoys it I hope he hasn't already seen them if he has then he can add these to his collection he used to buy DVDs like this he buys scary ones really he really liked gory ones I'm not much into the gory ones then of course Bought me some Pepsi. I used to drink this brand all the time, Bram, this flavor, the ones with caffeine in it. And then I started drinking the caffeine free. And now I can't find any caffeine free. There hasn't been any caffeine free in over two months um, since this situation started. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for me right now. Such It's a small grocery haul. And uh, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And I will try to um, I, I try to respond to everybody's comment within a few within a few minutes after you comment or within a couple of days I try to make sure I comment back. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff away because this stuff needs to be back in the freezer before it starts to thaw out. And I will talk to y'all again soon. Okay, y'all have a good weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun. Okay, bye, y'all.